Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I am Deluxe, and it's time to do another What's New in Transformers. Yay! I love doing these. Basically, I talk about new stuff coming out. Don't have it in hand, just I like to, you know, do a little chit-chat and everything. So, as always, grab some popcorn, your favorite beverage, sit back and relax, and let's just look at some new Transformers. Take it away. Yeah! Well, all right, folks, up first, as always, is add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And up first is Go Better. And, man, they're making something look so awesome. This is for Earthrise RC. And, man, the backpack looks so cartoon accurate. So, you know, Earthrise just came out. Uh, I watched it. It was really good. I'll give my thoughts and everything later on about that. You also get a uh, thigh cover and some cap covers to cover up the Waffle House stuff. You get two new guns. And uh, you get a, a regular, like a pistol, or not a pistol, but kind of a rifle. And you also get a sniper rifle as well. And, man, this thing looks so much better with especially those covers on the back of her legs and everything. No more waffles. And this, that backpack just looks so much better, man. Uh, you can't use it for transformation, you know, unfortunately. And you also can use uh, her extra parts that you have with her as a gun rack. So you can make that. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, if you want to have that. Uh, but, yeah, this backpack looks so freaking awesome. I may have to go in on this one. I haven't ever got anything from them, but they've made some cool stuff for, like, New Age and everything. But yeah, really nicely done. I do think the gun is a little too big, the, the rifle, whatever the black one is. It's a little too big for her, but you know, I do like the sniper rifle. That looks pretty sweet, you know, and everything. So yeah, really nice set. I, I definitely want to try to get this one. This is Go Better, and this is for Earthrise RC. Man, that backpack looks pretty sweet. Now, speaking of Earthrise, we got Shockwaves Labs. We got some missile effects kit for Siege Jetfire. So you saw this if you ever if you watch Earthrise, man. You, you saw the uh, the missiles come out of his back and everything. So you got a little backpack thing going on, and you got some you know flexible wires and everything. And that looks pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie, man. Posing him like that with the missiles coming out on the back of him, man, that's freaking sweet. I like this. Not bad. Not. I'm probably gonna be cost like maybe ten bucks at least. So this might be another set I want to get in on as well so that's pretty cool yeah you get uh six missiles like so you get a backpack and you get also the you know flexi wire things or something like that so really nicely done this is an upgrade kit for the siege uh jet fire you got some missiles coming at you all right very nice very nice well all right folks that's all we have for add-on kits let's move on to legends news and not much but we got one thing coming from dr Wu. so we got a test shot of squawk talk and beast box for the siege earthrise sound waiver sound blaster that's pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. I do like uh, the beatbox. I think it looks pretty cool. Squawk Talk looks all right as well. Uh, but like I said, this is early prototypes, and I think it's pretty cool to make some tapes that you know we're not going to get. I wonder if they're going to do the Autobot one as well. That'd be pretty sweet. I'm really impressed with Dr. Wu when he's making this stuff. I've gotten his uh, Legend stuff, and I really like it. So I think I'd probably be in on this as well. Uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, new stuff from Dr. Wu. We got test shots of Squawk Talk and Beast Box for the Earthrise or Seize Sound Waver Sound Blaster. Pretty sweet, man. We got some new tapes coming. All right. And Iron Factory is wishing everybody a happy new year. And they're giving us some new pictures of their IFEX-45M. Uh, this is their internal Night Warrior. This is their Shattered Glass uh, Leo Convoy. It looks pretty good. I love the purple and the blue. That you know that nice little green as well in some accent areas. That looks really nice too. So it really looks good. I love that mold. Probably definitely on this one and everything. So yeah, uh, Magic Square is giving us a uh, you know a little Happy New Year with some pictures of uh, Shattered Glass Leo Convoy. All right, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for Legends news. I wish we had more, but maybe later on down the line. So up next is third-party MP scale news, and we have Dreamstar Toys. This is their Superion. I forgot the name of their the third-party name, but this is their aerial boss and everything. So we get a little test shot, another test shot of this. You know, they're more stylized and everything. Looks really good. A lot of detail, especially around the chest and the abdomen area. And I'm hoping, it looks like that's going to be parts for me, which I'm really excited for. I think combiners moving forward should always have parts for me, especially the thighs and maybe the shoulders and everything. So it will stay together a lot, a lot longer. You know, the TSC stuff, you can tell it's just a floppy mess and everything. So, But this looks really good so far. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of detailed sculpt work in there and everything. And it is very stylized and everything, but I really think it looks good. So I'm definitely probably going to get in on these or anything. So yeah, new stuff from, uh, this is, uh, what they called again? Uh, Dreamstar Toys, and this is their uh, Superion, just a little early probably top picture of the combined mode. So very nice, very nice. And speaking of combiners, we got a new image of Generation Toys GT-AE 
Foo Fighter, which I really like that name. This is their hot spot. And, you know, like I said, we did see on my last What's New, we got the combined mode. This thing's been going on for about, I don't know, three, four years. I don't know. I wish it hurry up and come out. But at this point, I really don't care. I'm, I'm going to get the X-Trans bots and the MMC one. If this one finally comes out, I'm definitely going to get it because I had the other four I might as well. But this is their hot spot that, you know, is still in prototype form. So, God bless America. When are you going to put this out? And I like Generation Toys. I really do. They put out some really good stuff. But, yeah, I've been waiting for this combiner forever. So, yeah, new images of Foo Fighter, which I love the name. It's pretty cool. This is their hot spot, and it goes uh, forms a defense sword and everything. So, yay, Generation Toy. Then we got a new company coming along, which is always cool. It's uh, called Samari Workshop or Warriors Workshop. Uh, this is their first product, and they're doing humans. So we're getting a uh, Carly and a Spike, a little older version of each one everything. I read the comics, and uh, they said Carly looks like He-Man <laughs> with that haircut. So I can see that. But, yeah, these are, uh, you know, MP scaled and everything. They got next to some MPs right there, and it looks pretty good. I like the scale and everything. Uh, they're called WWS-C-01 Scientists and Couples. So, yeah, Spike and Carly. Uh, they're in 130 scale. Uh, so yeah, it looks good. Looks like they're gonna have some, uh, uh, you know, ab crunch and everything. Looks like they got some decent articulation. So I might be on this. If you want some humans to uh, go along with the MP scale stuff and everything, these look pretty good. Uh, they'll be released around the second quarter of 2021. So just be on the lookout, and uh, we'll see some uh, color picks later on as well too. So yeah, new stuff from Warriors Workshop. Uh, we got some new humans coming to us. All right, Spike and Carly. He man, dun 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 dun. dun. Nah, I'm just kidding. And here we got a new pick from Fans Hobby. Just wishing everybody a happy 2021. Uh, it looks like we're going to get the uh, Energon Optimus Prime as well. I did show that a, a while back. I think they showed some test shots about a month ago and everything. But this is a full prototype and everything showing at least half of it. So yeah, next to uh, the Armada one, we're also getting Energon Optimus Prime. And happy 2021 from Fans Hobby. I'm so excited for their stuff, man. They got some good stuff coming. Especially that Megatron. That looks really nice. So yeah, happy 2021 from Fans Hobby. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for third-party news. Let's move on to official, and we got something oof, so good-looking. 3-0 is giving us Deluxe Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime, and man. Now, I did show this on the last one. It had Jetfire coming with him as well. It can combine, but man, we got some new images, and this thing looks freaking beautiful. You may not like the Bay movies, but man, this thing looks so good. So it stands at 11.2 inches tall, 28.4 centimeters, and it has approximately 57 points of articulation. Golly. A die cast metal frame. You got light up uh, eyes. Accessories include two ion blasters, uh, dual energy swords, and you got inter interchangeable battle uh, mask and face. So you can use it, you know, you can have the face or you can have the battle mask. And a total of four pairs of uh, hands as well. And you also have a stand that, you know, you make them, you know, do some really outstanding poses. Man, 3 0 makes some really good stuff. I'm waiting on my sound wave. I've gotten some other stuff from them and they make a really great product. And this one, once again, just looks freaking beautiful. I can't, the paint job's gonna be so good. The dry brushing, the weathering, the just the, uh, mm, man, I'm, I'm definitely in on this guy. I'm gonna get Jetfire as well. So yeah, so this is gonna be out around the third quarter of 2021, and it's gonna be for $229. So yeah, I'm definitely on board for this. So new stuff from 3-0, Deluxe Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime. Pre-orders have gone up as well. Go out there and get this stuff, man, come on now. And we also got a new Optimus Prime coming from uh, Age of Extension. This is from Transformers Movie Toys. They've been doing the Bumblebees. Now they're moving on to TMT-04. Like I said, this is the last night Optimus Prime. Now these are just renders. So it looks like he comes with a, a blade, his sword, and everything. So uh, let's see. It's a new project. He stands about 28.5 centimeters tall. Light effects, uh, integrated weapons and vehicle mode. Uh, so yeah, this is early renders and everything. So, you know, things could change, but... You know, it looks pretty good. You know, if you want a last night uh, Age of Extension kind of prime thing going on. I don't know anything about this company. They haven't really put out anything yet, but they've shown some bumblebees and stuff. So pretty cool. So yeah, Transformer Movie Toys, TMT-04, Age of Extension, Last Night, Optimus Prime Renders. Golly, that's a lot to say, but it looks pretty good so far. We'll see. All right, and the last bit of news we have, and man, this was out of left field because nobody saw this coming. I know nobody was thinking, man, we're going to get an MP Skids? MP who? He was in one one episode, I think, maybe two. So yeah, we're getting a masterpiece skits. Now, it is just, you know, like a, a line art, you know, no prototypes or anything like that has been revealed. Just showing some line arts. 
I, I'm sure they have art of everything, you know, from you know season one, two, and three. They got stuff probably out there, but but this for some reason got leaked or got sent out, and so masterpiece skits might be coming. It's kind of weird. He's a B character. There's so many other characters that they could be doing. I'm not hating on it. I mean, I like you know, I I have the X Trans by skids and he's fine. I definitely try to you know, I'll definitely check this one out. But it's just weird that we're gonna get an MP skids. But who knows? We may never see it. We just you know they like I said they may have art from other stuff and this might just got leaked out. But who knows? Who knows? Is anybody really excited for MP skids? I mean, and like I said, the X Trans Bots one's pretty good. It will do. If we would have never got another skid from anybody, I would have been satisfied with that one. So, yeah, hit me up in the comments. Tell me if you're excited for MP Skids. Yay! <laughs> well, all right, folks, that's all we have for news today. Not a whole lot. I just thought I would like to put one out real quickly and everything because I love talking about this stuff. It, it just gets me excited. So, yeah, I'm excited for everything. The new uh, 3 0 Prime looks really good. We got some new add on kits that are looking really nice. I'm, I'm excited for those as well. So, yeah, hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of this. If you're excited for anything like that, Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears as well. Go hit that sub button if you haven't already. Share my stuff out. I really appreciate that. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. As always, please be good to yourself. Have a great new year. And uh, good night, folks.